All right, so this is my idea of the ultimate charger. Quick little back history. I was running this high-tech AC four channel, and every once in a while, one channel will turn to Chinese, the rest stay English, go figure. Glutton from punishment, looking for more power. I went and got the X2, runs on DC, and then one of these buttons got sticky. I call high tech and they just will not send me this sticker screen. So with the frustration of sour taste in my mouth, it gave me the motivation I needed to create this little unit. Now, RC squared makes these types of cases, but it just, you know, after 26 years or whatever in the hobby, I have my own preferences. Uh, one of which is I wanted it smaller. Some of those cases got so big. And I usually charge with the batteries in the car. So I wanted these to be nice and clean. 18 inch leads, got the four cell leads there. I've got some two cell leads as well. And uh, just started off with a kind of a knockoff Pelican case from ye old Harbor Freight. Uh, some plastic from just leftover plastic at a plastic company here in town. And then the X6 chargers, they're pretty neat. They will do up to 30 amps charge. You could set them up regenerative discharge and also do 30 amps, but that was gonna be an extra whole lot of wiring to do all four hooked up to a resistor bank. So I cut apart this little Sky RC discharger. And so that would be the plug in right there. And you plug your battery in, that charges this unit. And it, uh, so I just you know, cut the face off, glued the board on the back, lengthened the wires. And then that's the unit there, so you got your resistor and your fan, and then I just got this override fan switch. And of course, USB monitor voltage and all that fun stuff. So, see this thing light up? You'd come right over here. On the back, I've got, um, so you plug in, use your adapter. You could shorten the AC cable inside, save some room, make a fuse in there, and then, you know, you have control of the power right there. So the plugged into AC and I could do a mooch plug and then run off a battery as well. It'd be real simple to wire up, but I don't see it needed as my outdoor and indoor track both have power. So you kick that baby on and uh, got all the eye chargers. I'm hoping they're going to be better quality than the high tech, I should hope. But worst case, you know, if one does fail or screens, whatever, ditch it, hundred bucks, throw a new one in. Life goes on, I still got, you know, a whole charger to work with. Uh, the discharger powers off the battery that you're discharging, so then those LEDs come on. Fan override, a little USB charger, and it also shows voltage. I'm just running 12 volts, which is plenty ample, plenty of amperage for what I'm pumping to the four cells. I usually don't go too crazy, but it does have the option to kick it up to 30 amps. I think I can get pretty close to that with each of them. So this is pretty much the guts of the operation. Power supply, just a few LEDs. They are incredibly bright. Didn't take much and they create heat. This is part of the discharger, which I extended the wires for that board. So the display will be on the top and then that has a fan that'll kick on when you get to a certain temperature. Other than that, the wire is pretty well stuffed over to the corners. So I'll make sure and get those cleaned up as I button it up together. So this is how I would charge at the races. Um, a little bit different configuration than say some of the other ones I've seen on YouTube where most of these are usually hidden up here and sure it will be a lot more durable that way. But I really didn't like wires going across the top and I wanted to keep a nice small box. So that's how we charge at the races. I know I get some flack for charging in the car. Um, I race three, maybe even four classes. And then my wife races too, so the charger is a busy place and uh, I just can't keep it straight. Knock on wood, it's been doing good for years and I do monitor those cell voltages and battery condition quite closely. So yeah, nice little clean setup. Pretty excited to put it to use.